good morning everybody. This is Miss J um, sharing the first of a series of lessons with you. Before we get going, I'd like to point out our learning intention and that is to know how pictures and words can influence the way you feel. If you know this, then you can integrate pictures and words into your work to make others feel in the way that you want them to about your writing. The success criteria for this lesson is I can draw a mind map of my thoughts and feelings while listening to Fox. So what I've done in this lesson package is you've got a hyperlink to Fox and me reading it. You can see the pictures, you can see the words and you can listen. So what I'm after is your mind map. Now what does a mind map look like and how can you construct one at home? Well what I would do is get an A3 piece of paper, um, some butcher's paper or if you don't have A3 or butcher's paper um, open up a, an exercise book and use both sides to create your mind map or uh, stick two pieces of A4 together get a bunch of textures and pencils, lots of colour as you do this work. I'm just going to do this work on my fridge just to show you how I would start my mind map. So let's pretend that's your A3 and in the centre I would write Fox. And then I would play the video language to start off with. I wish I could draw a dog, doesn't matter. Miss A would tell me to have a growth mindset, so there's my dog, his little legs. He needs other legs. And a broken bird magpie. So you can use a combination of words and pictures. Some things that I loved about what I heard was hot ash, charred forest, um, and then the image of dog and magpie. I'm expecting that you're going to do a much better job of this because this is really your work for the next 50 minutes just to listen to this nine minute video and press pause as you go and do your mind map. All right, so I want you to think about the thoughts and feelings that come up for you. Um, so uh, I'm thinking, oh, broken. Uh, I'm thinking also kind because he had a big gentle mouth. He wasn't going to hurt her. I could tell that from the start. And then we start to understand that mouth being a noun, what does she use to describe the noun? Some gorgeous adjectives to describe the mouth of this lovely kind dog. So do your thoughts and feelings while listening to the fox and then what I'd like you to do is upload by taking a photo upload to seesaw your mind map please I really look forward to seeing that all right this is Miss J at home signing off bye bye